So in previous video, we had a discussion about users and profiles, how we create users in Salesforce and how we create profiles and how we get them assigned to the users. So this is not it. Now we have another feature available in Salesforce where we can create group of users, which is called public groups. And we have one more feature available, which is called queues. So what's the difference between queues and public groups? Please don't get confused. So public groups, as I said, is a set of users where you can combine few users into one group and you can share the records and the data with them. Just like we have groups in WhatsApp, so it's the same thing is here in Salesforce. And we do have queues available. So now we have queues available because if we want to assign some records to the queue where users can pick the records from the queue. So that's how the queues are available in Salesforce. So let's check out the difference between public group and queue. So as you can see, queues are used as primary as owner of records, but public groups are used primary for security. Now, queue is a feature available to salesforce.com users that allows you to integrate prospect assignments with your current salesforce.com workflow. Rather than using, rather than assigning to a specific user, you can choose to assign leads to salesforce.com queue and then use CRM workflow or manual methods of distributing leads to sales representatives, where public group is a kind of a team or a group of related users. This will help to share the data. Now, queues are typically used when you want to assign a record to a bunch of users. Using queues, you can assign a record to multiple users so that any member of the queue can work on the record. It also allows the users to have a separate views, wherein the group on the other hand are used more for a sharing purpose. They are not the owner of the records like queue, but can share the records in terms of access. Also, queues can be created for custom objects and for case leads and knowledge article version, where the public group created can be used across any objects. So let's see how public groups and queues are managed in Salesforce now. So in order to access or create public group, we just go to setup and type group in the setup section. You will see an option of public group. Just click on the public group and create new. When you see this page, just name this public group. And here you can select whether you want another public groups to be added in the group or you can also add roles and roles and subordinates into the group. You also have the option to add the users as I mentioned. So if you select the users, you can select the list of users you want to add to this public group. Click on add and then you have to click on save. Once that is done, that means your public group is created. Now in terms of queue, you just have to type in queue, click on queues, new, and then just name this queue and you have to select the available object here on which object you want to access the queue. So let's say if we select lead for example here, just drag this to the selected object section and you have to do the same thing here as well. You have to select the queue members. So you can, you have the same options available. You can add public groups here. If you want to add the same group which you have created where the list of users were already added, you can do that. Along with that, if you want to add some extra additional users, you have the option to do that as well. So that whoever you have added into this queue will have access to that particular lead. So let's say if we click save. So after a queue or a public group is created, you can use both of them in sharing rules. Now, you must be wondering why we have created two things. Both look similar, right? You have added some users in public groups as well as you have added some users in queues as well. So the most important difference is you cannot make the owner as public group. It has to be a queue. So if you have added few users in a queue, they will be able to access the record, right? But then if you have added some users in public group, you can share the records with them, but they will not be the owner of the record. So that's it about public group and queue management. 
In next topics, we will learn about how we can assign public groups and queue to the records. Stay tuned.